So the engine is broken down into a number of different stations and, and they're all numbered. So for example, for a single rotor turbojet, we might have stations here at station one, which would just be, you know, just before the engine inlet. Station two is at the engine inlet. Station three at the compressor outlet. Station four at the combustion outlet. Station five at the turbine outlet. Station six at the nozzle inlet. And station seven at the nozzle outlet or at the exhaust. Now, the reason I have a P here is P is for pressure. So if we're talking about P3 pressure, it means the pressure at this point. And generally, when we refer to the stations, it's either P or T. So if I'm talking about P3, it's the pressure at this point. If I'm talking about T3, it's the temperature of the air at this point. So if you hear of P2.5, you know, it's the pressure uh, at this point and the temp and T2.5 would be the temperature uh, at this point. So that's the engine uh, stations on, on this type of engine. They could be more. I mean, we could have uh, a low pressure compressor and a high pressure compressor. So this could be P2, P3, P4, P5 and, and so on up to P9, or we could have a turbofan engine. So again, we have P2 at the, at the inlet to the fan. Could have P3 here at the outlet of the compressor, P4, the inlet to the turbine, P5 at the outlet of the turbine, and then P8 here at the, at the exhaust. And then you'd have a pressure here, maybe P9 